You mean the madhouse? Yeah. The inability to use magic. So this sort of lunacy exists too. What, why are you calling it lunacy? You're kind of <laughs> kind of weird yourself. How interesting. Oh. <laughs> 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 the short man stops as he notices another man walking toward us. Is it Joff? Yep. Oh yeah, Joff! I'm um, just remembering so clearly the embarrassing encounter between him and the maid. Oh yeah! <laughs> My lord, is Mr. Sherwood still not back yet? No. The man stares at me, but says nothing. I return the favor. <laughs> like, staring contest. I like, um, I like Professor Puff's face. It's just like, what's going on here? <laughs> Unlike the short man, this man isn't the talkative sort. Good. I like him already. I often wonder why people who can't keep their mouths shut aren't sent to madhouses. Oh. Oh. Isn't it strange that people who feel uncomfortable with talking are said to be unsociable, yet people who feel uncomfortable with not talking are considered normal? The latter, to me, sounds like the more serious mental problem. I'm going to call it Shameless Personality Disorder. Or SPD for short. <laughs> you, could you imagine going to a doctor with that symptom? I have a Shameless Personality Disorder. I just blur out like, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then the doc's like, get over it or go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> see. Uh, uh, um. Perhaps introductions are in order. He probably finds this awkward. He's like, none of them are saying anything. Yeah, like if they're having a staring contest, not saying anything, this is awkward for me. I'm Mr. Short Man. <laughs> what's, what's your name, little lady? Janice. Well, it's very nice to meet you, young Janice. I'm surprised he didn't say, do you have a sh last name that goes with that? Because <laughs> he's like, introductions and all that. This gentleman is the young lord of House Godwin and the founder of Magical Mechanical, Lord Joff Godwin. Praise be. <laughs> you may call him Lord Godwin and bow to his feet and kiss his ring finger. <laughs> I'm sorry, that introduction, it's like, really? <laughs> anyway, he points at the quiet man. Uh, Janice is probably thinking, you're a lord, really? Jaw. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't be rude, Janice. But he's, the lord's being rude. Why yeah. are you telling Janice not to be rude? He's just silently staring, so... It doesn't matter, Professor. Let her call me whatever she likes. I, I see. In fact, since we're here, you and Commander Wolf should drop the Lord also. Oh, okay. Um, Joff, then? <laughs> he doesn't know how to take all this as face. <laughs> the short man speaks to me again. Well, moving on. My name is Johan Poe. People call me Professor Poe. But you could call me Johan. I haven't been a professor for a very long anyway. Ha 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 ha. I'm terrible with laughs, you know it. She <laughs> just doesn't care, she's like dot dot. Poe. Um. I said you could call me Johan. She's probably yeah. like Poe suits you better. <laughs> it was close to that. Poe is easier to remember. Is that so? Huh. <laughs> that was terrible. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. You just got rid of all the A's and just went, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible with laughs. <laughs> Finally. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be talking again. <laughs> okay. He has a lot to say. He suffers from that syndrome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What was it called again? Shameless Personality Disorder? Yep. This is Commander Aiden Wolf, or Aiden Wolf, of the Dragoon. Oh, do you know about the Dragoon? Well, well, no, she's probably hasn't, she doesn't know. You're gonna tell her, probably. They're a special, yep, they, she he is gonna tell her anyway. They're a special forces unit in our police force. I, 
guess he won't mind if you call him uh, Ian, or perhaps Wolf. To probably go Wolf. Nice to meet you, Janice. He's sizing him up. Yeah. Commander. At least he, she gives him a respectable title to go by, yeah. Commander. Why is he the only one called by his title? He was kind and he healed us. He deserves some respect. Yeah, he does. You did nothing, Poe, but be long-winded. <laughs> you suffer from that syndrome we're lifting. I was going to shorten Commander to Coder, but Coder sounds like a lame job title. That is true. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling you just insulted a lot of people? <laughs> I like how that's how he took from all this, probably. Wait! You didn't even answer my question! Wait, what was his question? Why does he get anyway. called by the title? Oh, okay, that question. Shall we get back inside? Mr. Sherwood could be waiting. Wait, didn't she answer that question? Maybe it was a different one. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, you're right! I think it's time we went back! Oh no, because she just told us why she wouldn't have gave him a, a different name. That was close uh, to yeah. Him. yeah. Well, it was nice talking to you, young lady. Let's talk again sometime. She probably will just sit there and stare and listen. I know, and say one word, like, K. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. And there he goes. Let's see. Commander looks at me for a brief second, then he nods and walks away. Oh. Like, I'm done with you. I know, that conversation ended really early. Magic Yay, deficiency chapter disorder. four! Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Magic deficiency disorder. Oh, great. We're going to learn all the... We're going to learn through all the chapters. We're going to learn all the deficiencies and disorders of Madhouse. <laughs> oh, that's Mr. Sherwood? Yeah, I wasn't imagining that. Well, I wasn't imagining anything, were you? No, I wasn't. Because, like, when you said... When they kept saying Mr. Sherwood, I was thinking of Sherwood Forest. Like, Robin Hood or something. <laughs> anyway. I was just thinking of an elegant man. Does that look elegant to you? Not his hair, no. Audience, leave a comment. Does this guy look elegant to you? Anyway, who should be Mr. Sherwood? Oh, you should be Mr. Sherwood. <clears throat> my apologies for keeping you waiting, my lord. That's all I got for Mr. Sherwood. I am using up all my man voices. Not at all, Mr. Sherwood. We showed ourselves around. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind you snooping around. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, my lord. And please, call me Colton. Oh, okay, Colton Sherwood. Got it. Ah, uh, I haven't properly introduced myself, have I? My name is Colton Sherwood. I am the owner of Eclipse. I believe you've already met my wife, Oriel. Yes, she greeted us at the gate and escorted us here. By the way, I hope you don't mind me bringing my friends here. This is Johan Poe, a professor of magical science at the Conservatoire des Overture. Poe oh, nods at Mr. Sherwood. And this is Commander Iden Wolf. He oversees the Overture Police's Dragoon Unit. Oh, is there is there a special reason for bringing a high-ranking official with you, my lord? Are you perhaps worried that I might be involved in some shady business? In other words, why is, why is he here? Look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> why are the cops here is basically that look. He's gonna drop all the stolen goods out of his jacket. <laughs> oh, that would have been a funny picture. Nothing like that. Johan, Wolf, and I are friends. We often travel together. I think they're the only friends he has. <laughs> oh, that's sad. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I don't that think was he'll rude. be making friends with the maid anytime soon after the awkward encounter. Yeah. Having Wolf around is especially useful. Johan and I always feel safe when we're with him. Right, Johan? Oh god, here he comes. That face. Okay. <laughs> huh? That face, look at it. Oh god. Oh, man, the facial expressions in this game. I don't know why. They're either like that or they're like other emotions. But these ones, like Poe and Sherwood are expressing. I don't know why they make us laugh, but it is kind of funny. 
I like how there's so, ex so much expression in their eyes all the time. <laughs> yeah. That's right, m uh, Joff. Except to Joff. Joff always looks the same. Yeah. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> Ha ha ha! I understand, my lord. It is an honor to meet amazing people like Professor Poe and Commander Wolf. Okay, don't be a kiss up, sh uh, kiss up, Sherwood. <laughs> See, Jeff, Poe, and Commander continue to make small talk with Mr. and Mrs. Sherwood. Oh gosh, is that Mrs. Sherwood? Uh, anyway, no, that, no, that's the me. Oh, okay. God, I was freaking out. I was like, wait, is that her? Because she had the freak out expression. See, beside me, I noticed that Enna has been staring at Joff with her eyebrows okay. furrowed and her head cocked ever since we entered the ward. She remembers the embarrassing moment where she thought he was a kid. Said all those yeah. aw awkward things to him. Yeah, I bet we were all cringing inside when that happened. <laughs> as soon as she saw Joff, she said, oh, wait, who's... Are you, uh, oh, that's me. her? Oh, Joff, did you manage to find it? Were you able to do it by yourself? Oh, gosh. She's so oh, angry. gosh. You still on that, lady? Joff didn't answer. That's a good response, Joff. Keep it up. Keep up the no answering. So, about the mana potion. Of course, my lord. I understand that as a magic m machine... Manufacturer, your company will need a lot of mana potions for its workers, and you'll need them at an affordable price. When will you need the potions, my lord? We haven't started mass production yet. My engineering team has produced a number of prototypes, and we are testing them prior to production. In any case, I intended to have the factory ready by spring. So we still have half a year, or give or take? That is correct. I see. And how many will you need, my lord? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. She's calling Janice over. Jeez. Oh, no. What she want? Oh. I cast a sideways glance at Anna. I heard you. What? Why does Mr. Sherwood keep calling Joff my lord? Um, because he's a lord? Huh? Isn't he a new inmate? Oh my gosh. What? Okay. No. Poe said Joff's a young lord of House Godwin and the founder of something with two limbs. Huh? <laughs> and a sudden shout uh, silences everyone. They all throw her an inquisitive look. Oh my gosh. Just embarrassing herself left and right. Oh, there you go. That's you. Oh, oh, that's me? Yep. Miss, okay. <clears throat> Miss Polydori, is there something wrong? Running out of girl voices, too. <laughs> uh, um, Janice told me it's that time of the month, so I'm taking her outside. Please excuse us. Really? Just out of Really? Like that's, that. your, that's your excuse? Okay, and Anna pulls my hand and literally sprints to the front door. Whee! Hey, why do I have to come with you? 